Hi everyone, so a while ago I made a video called Gaming on Linux Sucks and That's Okay. In that video I talk about my experience with gaming and how by the time I was around 14 or 15 I started finding it extremely boring and that made me realize something really important about computers. So that video was not received very well by a lot of people. Now some people left very positive comments, but there were also a lot of negative comments and there was some constructive, very good feedback and there was some feedback that was a bit a bit weird, you know, people calling me the second Luke Smith or something like that. And it's like, I don't really know how to feel about that. But I've taken that video down, or at least I've unlisted it, because I felt like my point was not very clear in it and that I should have probably explained myself better. Looking back at it, I understand where people misunderstood my point a lot. And it wasn't my intention to tell people that all video games are evil and if you play video games you're going straight to hell or something that, that's not what i was saying at all uh, nor was i saying that we should only use computers for practical purposes and never have you know anything uh fun or like even just wasteful quote unquote done i wasn't saying that either uh but i wasn't really clear with what i was saying that i actually meant to explain in the video either so in today's video i'm going to try to clarify that and make a new video about why gaming on Linux is sometimes inconvenient, and that's all right. That's gonna be the new title for the video since people really didn't like the previous one. It's very inflammatory uh, or clickbaity, as they say. So my point with this video, and like my last one, is that, so like I said, when I was 14 or 15, I stopped really liking video games. And when I started getting more into Linux, when I started getting more into it, one of the things that you try to do naturally as a kid who at the time liked video games or at least wanted to play them, say, with your friends or whatever, uh, with his friends, what you do is you go and look up tutorials and figure out how to get them running. So gaming on Linux generally is very easy to do nowadays. There's Steam and Proton Play and like all of these programs that you can use to get pretty much any Windows game, which normally would be exclusive to Windows computers, running on pretty much any Linux system. In fact, sometimes there's even advantages to running a Windows game on Linux. Like, Linux is so efficient that it actually runs better on Linux, which is crazy. Uh, but it didn't always work well. And I know that people say it's gone leaps and bounds ahead, but even nowadays, gaming on Linux is not perfect. There is extensions and little things and like some games that don't work at all and there's anti-cheat here and anti-cheat there and it's just there are it generally is a little bit more inconvenient to set up on Windows at least sometimes. And I wanted people to realize with that video, the, the reason I called it gaming on Linux sucks is I wanted people to realize when they were going through the process of setting up like a complicated game uh, that perhaps what they should try to do is realize why am I spending all this time and effort to set up this video game in the first place? Like, why am I even playing this video game in the first place, you know? And like I said, I'm not trying to say that everybody who plays video games is evil, but I think most people watching this would recognize that perhaps spending three hours a day in a single player game is not the best idea. You know, or, or you know, grinding away at a video game uh, hours a day after school or whatever is not the best idea. And there's a lot of people who get into Linux who have a lot of these hobbies, and these hobbies rely on proprietary software. So when they move over to Linux, they try to recreate that same environment of proprietary software. Um, and go back into all these hobbies. But then you stop and realize, are these hobbies actually helping me, or are they not doing anything for me because there's some hobbies that you know they're fun and they're they're great and you have fun with them but there's a lot of hobbies that they sort of drive you away from whether it be a healthy lifestyle or other people um, or just living your best life and I'm going to read this comment by left by GNU Lectures a YouTube channel on my previous video that I really liked which sort of captured a little bit of what I was trying to say much better than I did in the original video uh, so I'm going to read it over here the comment goes, I kinda agree, to be honest. I don't play video games very often. It's partly due to a lack of time, but primarily because I have a physically active lifestyle and just don't enjoy them as much as I used to. I have had, I've made a few gaming-related videos, but a lot of them are about experimenting rather than the games themselves. For example, playing around with GPU pass-through or getting ARM devices to run games made for x86 using Box64. Funnily enough, I find this, the tinkering, more fun than actually playing the games. 
And so I found this really interesting because I also had a similar experience. It was getting to the point where I preferred you know, working around video games and like doing all the fun Linux stuff than actually play. Like I would spend an hour setting up how to play a game on Linux and then I'd launch the game for like 10 minutes and then I wouldn't even play it. Like I'd play it for like 10 minutes and then I would close it, you know? And that was my experience a lot. And I wanted sort of to capture that in a video and get people talking about it because it does, it does impact people when they have to spend that time. And that could be a positive thing if they start to realize that perhaps a gaming hobby isn't the best thing. Now, I still do play games contrary to popular belief. Like, for example, I'm streaming Pikmin on my channel, the, the game with like the little Nintendo bug creatures. And that's pretty much the only time that I can force myself to sit down and play a game is for a stream or if I'm playing it with a friend. Because honestly, I find it excruciatingly boring just by myself. And while I know a lot of people get enjoyment out of that, I do think that it is positive to build a habit of only really being very into games or like getting into into games when it brings you a little bit more benefit than just gratification on the screen because as much of it as much as it is like a hobby or whatever um you know a lot of hobbies you gain practical skills from them you might if you're somebody who likes or likes arts and crafts or whatever, maybe you might get into something more advanced like woodworking. One of my friends, uh, one of my roommates actually used to be really big into engineering and modeling and it led to him learning a lot more about welding, uh, which was, was fun while he did it. He actually got like a summer job with it and everything. And while I'm not saying that money is the be all and end all or getting a job is the be all and end all of life, obviously, um, really life is about love and living out a life that you know at least from my religious perspective is adherent you know that serves god you know and that can be done in a multitude of ways but for a lot of people who are stuck especially people who use linux who perhaps are more like nerdy sort of like into computers sort of people video games are almost like an escape and i got a couple of comments uh, about this too people talking about how a lot of it was like escapism and I think that, yeah, unfortunately, that's true. There's people who want to escape from the current reality of things because they don't want to, um, you know, they don't want to actually face their reality. And many times people use it for the opposite. They, they face reality so much that they want to retreat back into games. Uh, but at least in my experience, I never found it a healthy way to deal with problems because your problems exist whether you like it or not. Like you're going to sit down and you're going to have a problem and either you deal with that problem or that problem starts dealing with you, you know? So, yeah. But yeah, so my point with this video to clarify the previous one, which I've unlisted, so I want this to video to sort of stand on its own. But uh, my point here is I don't think video games are evil. I don't think you're going to go to hell if you play video games or something. I'm not at all. But I do think that perhaps if you're somebody who's technically inclined into Linux and whatever, you should consider that maybe spending hours to set up a video game or maybe you don't have to do that anymore, but even just the download times of video games are really, really huge nowadays or whatever. Um, maybe during that time, start to consider whether you actually really enjoy what you're doing at all. Um, and for some people, it's an addiction. For others, it's just something to kill the time. But, you know, sometimes you can kill the time just by doing other things, just staring out the window sometimes, or just uh, there's plenty of other activities you can engage in with your friends, or you can go and maybe do some cooking or something else. I'm not saying you necessarily always have to do something productive. You could just lay down and sleep or, or take a nap instead of spending an hour. You know, naps are good for you. Uh, but... Yeah, so in this video, I just wanted to clarify, I don't think video games are evil, um, but I hope that people use their experience on Linux and the fact that Linux struggles to support some things um, as sort of like a springboard, as, as like a basis to understand why they perhaps should not be spending as much time as they are on video games. But yeah, I've been Denshi. This has been my video on video games. Goodbye.